Hey guys, back with another Maple Story M video here. This time it's an arc run. Um, I wanted to show this as a tutorial for a lot of beginners just to kind of talk through callouts, what we're anticipating through the run and what we're preparing for um, because I'm the shot caller for this run right here. So I'll just talk through um, what I'm looking for. So first off, um, I'm trying to position as the tank um, one to one side so that the DPS can face the other. You saw right there, we stunned him up. That was um, unfortunate. We usually stun DRs. So right here, I'm letting the team know we won't have stun for DR, which is coming up right here after this orb lightning sequence. So I'm saying DR is right here, it's coming, don't attack. Our phantom's gonna steal it and no one dies to DR. So that's the first thing that's gonna happen in the first 30 seconds. Um, uh, knowing when to DR, kind of giving the team a heads up when it's coming. And next is Magic Crash right there. Call out Magic Crash. And now I'm saying, telling to the team, you know, first Shell's coming up. First Benediction is coming up. Um, right here is going to be Double Lightning when the minions are summoned. Just be careful for that. So I call it Double Lightning right there. And then I'm telling them after First Bishop, after this Flame Pillar, we're going to use Benediction. So right here, Dodge Flame Pillar. And I'm telling them Benediction. I like to use it early just because it can come up again for the next. And there's the shell. It can come up for the next cycle. Um, I'm telling my bishop to stand a little close to the middle as they do these three dispels so you don't get snaked. Um, and then now that the dispels went through, you can go back into the corner. So that's really the first rotation, kind of what I'm talking through. And then the next thing, again, is Dispel. When you see that icon above your head right there so you do maximum damage and then i'm calling out for dr again so it's going to be this sequence right here where you see the orb and then you see the lightning and then i'm calling out for a stun for dr right there so he stuns it you see the wing is frozen and it's going to skip dr and so at this point we're getting dps is doing pretty good threat good threat in rng and he's coming up on a second Screen crack, around 40%. You're looking for that that M on Arcarium. That's kind of the 60% 60, 60 marker, excuse me. Um, Magic Crash was supposed to show up right there, but it didn't. Our Pally died. Um, not a problem. I just tell him to take the res. Look out for Double Lightning, which is coming right here. And then our second Bishop should be Shelling and Benediction around the same time. There's Screen Crack right there. He gets the Shell off. And I tell him to Benediction after this Flame Pillar right here. So we dodge Flame Pillar. You see the Benediction icon show up at the top. Um, and I'm telling him now to stand in the middle for these, these dispels right here after the lightning cleared. And you see those people on the left got cursed. Not a problem. Um, and now Bishop can go back into the corner. So... That's pretty much the cycle, kind of callouts, rinse and repeat. Um, right here, we are again looking for those dispels on the icons above the head. Um, we got a couple deaths there, not a problem. We just took, that's our pally, looking to res because we're going to need our pally to get this DR stun right here. So orb lightning, calling out stun DR right here. There it is, the wing. You can see it's stunned. The wing is frozen, stunned, and we skipped the DR. So now, next thing we're looking out for is Magic Crash. And the kind of the cue for the Magic Crash is after DR. It's going to be the portal right there and then Magic Crash, right? So someone says they got portaled, Magic Crash. It comes up right after. And now we're telling that first Bishop, Screen Crack is coming up again, usually around that A, right around the A on Arcarium. Um, HP gets to that. That's around 40%. And so right there is Shell. He's got it. And now I'm just telling Benediction off of cooldown. So I'm telling him, now just watch out for this orb lightning and then come to the middle. So you see Dope Sick is the bishop and he has Benediction. He's doing the three dispels and just tell him to stand behind Arcarium so he doesn't get hit by that snake strike um, into, see that snake strike right there and then lightning. Avoid those and you're good to go back in the corner. So that's kind of the rotation things we're looking out for and then next again rinse and repeat is dispel and then look out for that dr so when we're looking for dr we're looking for the sword 
icon above their head. See, everyone has it right there. Then it's going to be orb lightning, orb, lightning, and our pally is going to come in and stun it. He's in the corner, so I tell him ahead of time so he knows what to look for. Stuns it, goes back into the corner. And at this point, um, our carrium is getting chunked down pretty good, so we're preparing for TL. Just talking through what everyone's cooldowns are, their shell. So I asked the, the next bishop if his shell is available. Um, he tells me it is, so we're not going to TL until the next um, shell, which is going to be in around 30 seconds at this point. So right here, double lightning coming in, and then our bishop is going to benediction off of cooldown, right? And we're going to tell him, watch out for this orb, and this orb's coming right here, and then lightning, and then he can kind of inch towards the middle. There's shell, screen crack, and then benediction should be coming. There it is, the icon at the top, the three dispels, and then watch out for the snake strike that's coming right here, and then lightning, and we're good to go. So now we use TL after that shell, like I mentioned before, um, just so we have this shell back up for the screen crack, which is going to come pretty soon. Um, and we're pretty much going to finish him off. It was about a six-minute fight, but there's the last screen crack. Just communicating that, and usually around DR is coming up, but Pally just stunned it, and he's down. So super smooth run. That's kind of what I'm talking through as a shot caller, if you're a shot caller out there. Um, calling the runs out really fast. Um, almost beat that Nightwalker right there, but couldn't get it done. Fast run overall. If you have any questions about ARC, um, hit me up, slide into my DMs, comment below, follow, subscribe. I hope you guys out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.